to elaborate further on this, we're now joined by energy and finance expert Jose Muleshi. And she joins us now via our video link. Jose, thank you so much uh, for your time this evening here on SABC News. Uh, now, of course, we've seen uh, this uh, new Discovery Green research, which uh, predicts uh, that, of course, uh, carbon taxes uh, may uh, dramatically increase over the next uh, couple of years. Maybe if you can just elaborate a bit further and tell us why. Um, uh, the, the, in addition to uh, prices of or tariffs that have been going up, uh, the levying of tax is designed to disincentivize the use of fossil fuels as a mix in the energy mix. Uh, so um, there's a levy of that tax to try and get these companies away from using fossil mm. fuels. And uh, yeah, so that is obviously going to have an additional cost for the companies, mm. uh, which is, uh, yeah. And uh, perhaps if you can also just uh, give us an insight in terms of, uh, you know, these carbon taxes uh, that will uh, have an impact on businesses, how exactly will it actually affect businesses in the country? Well, as he indicated in the clip, uh, the, the more intensive the electricity that you use and the bigger the portion of your business that you spend on energy meaning the energy intensive users like the mining companies like the steel companies you know those energy intensive users are likely to be using relatively higher um, demanding more energy so that therefore means that they will be levied more in terms of the tax and, and would potentially have to look at alternatives, which alternatives could include actually looking at other countries if there are better prices in those countries or reducing extensions of their of their businesses. It depends on each individual company, how they assess the impact on their business. Mm. And may this have an effect on the country's economy? Uh, that would have obviously an impact on the country. <coughs> excuse me, on the country's economy. Uh, there is a trade-off, obviously, between economic prosperity and levying carbon taxes, uh, which have an impact on the economy. So, yes, it's, uh, it's unfortunately would have an impact on those businesses and the economy. Mm. And do businesses, uh, you know, who may be affected, uh, do they have any alternatives or what are the alternatives, uh, you know, f so that, uh, uh, you know, their businesses are not actually, uh, you know, impacted uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a very uh, strong way? There are alternatives, but it depends on what timelines you are looking at. If you are looking at South Africa, we are predominantly uh, getting our electricity from coal-fired power fleet. I don't believe that is going to be just that quick to just turn around. And moving to renewable energy also depends on the type of business that you run. Typically, energy-intensive users like mining companies need solid, reliable uh, electricity that will be available at all times. So moving to renewable energy may not be a solution for them, uh, especially because uh, they have to run. Uh, um, they have to run if they don't have enough electricity. Then they would they would have to shut down. So intermittency of renewable energy obviously presents a challenge for those entities. Um, so that's why they are now even now relying still relying on the grid, which is what is provided for by ESCOM to ensure that there's in sufficient uh, capacity to run their operations when they need to do so. Mm. And Jose, we do understand that, uh, you know, this will kick in in the next uh, few years. When is it most likely to take place uh, that businesses can see an increase in carbon taxes? Uh, the, it, it's like, I mean, there is carbon tax that's levied, but they are talking about levied on electricity use. So from 2026, that's what's likely likely to happen. It is a very difficult uh, challenge that is facing businesses, because even if you are talking about the traders that will be developing renewable energy projects, they do also face constraints in terms of the transmission infrastructure to transmit that. And I also alluded to earlier on mm. the inter intermittency that you face. That means sometimes renewable energy is available, sometimes it's not. So being cheap 
it's not really cheap because you have to back it up with something during the period when you don't have enough coming out of the renewable energy projects. Mm, and what would be the ripple effect for businesses uh, uh, when we speak about consumers? Because, I mean, uh, their businesses are to the greater public. Uh, so what would then be the ripple effect for an ordinary South African? The, an ordinary South African is already uh, facing challenges in terms of their tariffs and the carbon tax is included or will be included also or is included and the environmental levies are also included although at this point they are less than five percent in total of the total tariff but already in on its own the tariff is significantly expensive um for the ordinary um consumer and that will continue to be a burden on on the consumer all right, uh, Jose, thank you so much uh, for your time this evening. That is uh, Jose Muleshe. Uh, she is an energy and finance expert talking to us there about uh, the effects of uh, that research that has been conducted by Discovery Green, of course, talking about uh, carbon taxes that may rise dramatically and mostly affect businesses.